Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark. That right there, that is my new Camaro SS 1LE. And today I'm going to go over what a 1LE package is and why I bought it. Now, when you're looking for a Camaro, um, basically what you're going to be looking for is you're either going to have a V8, which is what I got, or you can have the V6 or the four-cylinder. So everything that I'm going to be talking to you today is going to pertain to the V8 versions of this. Now, Chevy did make a 1LE package for the V6 Camaro, but in the recent years they got rid of that, and now if you want a 1LE package for the newer ones, you can only get them in the V8s. For the V8 Camaros, there are three different packages you can get. You can get a 1SS, you can get a 2SS, and you can get a ZL1. That's the top of the line, supercharged, most powerful Camaro you can get. I don't have the money for one, so I have a 1SS, 1LE. Now, the difference between a 1SS and a 2SS basically has to do with the interior and how luxurious it is. A 1SS is your basic model. It's going to have cloth seats. You're not going to have any fancy luxurious things in there. If you get a 2SS, that's going to be more of the higher end stuff. You're going to have dual climate control. You're going to have leather seats, heated, cooled seats. In a 1SS, you don't get any of that stuff. Now, what a 1LE package is, it's basically the track version of all the other packages I've talked about, 1SS, 2SS, ZL1. You can all get those with a 1LE package attached to them. So let's talk about all the exterior upgrades you're gonna get. You're gonna kinda notice that the 1LE package has a theme, which is black. So there's gonna be a lot of blacked out things. That's kinda how you're gonna tell that it is a 1LE package. Probably the biggest giveaway is the hood. So what they did is they went and they wrapped the hood, this matte black, and all the 1LEs get those. And if we take a look at the front here, you're also gonna notice a front splitter that is black. And these vents here on the side, those are also gonna be blacked out, which on the normal Camaros they are not. And if we come to the back of the car, they also get this little spoiler on the back that is also black. Now, let's look at the interior of the car. Obviously, the biggest difference you're probably going to notice is that in a 1SS, in a base model, you're going to have cloth seats in here. If you get the 1LE package, you're going to be upgraded to these Recaro seats. They're going to have more bolstering. They have leather front and rear, and you're going to have the nice little suede inserts in there. They're very comfortable, and they're also very snug when you're riding around. The other big difference is, is you're going to have the steering wheel is going to be Alcantara, so will your shifter. Now, the Camaro with the 1LE package is only going to come in a manual. You can get these in an automatic. You're also going to get some track focus programs in there. You're going to get your 0 to 60 time. You're going to get a G-force meter. And you're going to be able to look at like tire temperatures and various other things that you're going to need to look at when you're driving around. So this is one of the features that I'm getting used to. Uh, it's a little bit different than usual because I don't see this on very many cars that I've had or any car that I've had. So if you look right there, uh, there's a reflection on the window and it's actually a little, I don't know if it's a screen or projector, but you can actually have your display right there. And so right now it's set up, I have a tachometer on the bottom. So there I rev it up, you can see it move. And it also tells me road speed. And I can go through and I can change the info. So we have just road speed. We can have road speed and the music that's playing. We can have a compass and road speed and then back to the one that I already have. So this is one that I usually stick on and it seems to work out pretty well for me. Sometimes I forget it's there, but it's been a nice feature that I like. So, as I stated earlier, the 1LE package is a track-focused car. So, what makes it a little bit more track-focused? In the front of the car, as I pointed out, we have these little grills here. They're gonna have be blacked out, but behind the grills on both sides, you're gonna have different coolers. I don't think you could really see them from here. Mm, nope, can't really see much, but there are some additional coolers back there, so when you're on the track, you can keep things a little bit cooler. Now, the biggest thing you can do with your car to actually get better performance out of it is wheels and tires. So that's what they did with the Camaro. You're going to get 20-inch wheels. The fronts are going to get 285s, and the rears are going to get 305s. They do come with special tires on them, but these are actually been replaced, so these are not the tires that come with them. You actually get pretty sticky tires with it, but I don't know what they look like. I haven't got any. Now, in a track setting, you're gonna need to be t able to stop on a dime. So, you get some upgraded brakes with the 1LE package. As you can tell, it says 1LE. These are a lot bigger than the standard brakes that you get. They're two-piece rotors. You get six piston calipers in the front. You get four pieces in the rear. That way, you can brake a little bit later and you won't have as much brake fade since you got more brakes. Oh, in the back of the car, it's gonna be a little different than what I have. So, this has already been replaced. I have a aftermarket exhaust on here. It came with it. 
Usually this comes with the MPP exhaust stick so that you can change between quiet mode and loud mode. I do not have a quiet mode, I only have a loud mode. So since we're at the back of the car, let me show you one of the other upgrades you get. You get your differential back here, you're getting an e-locker. The computer's gonna sit there and tell when the, when the axles need to lock together when you're driving around. The other big upgrade is if you look on the side here, it's hard to see, mostly my finger there, but that right there, that is a cooler line. That's gonna run all the way up to the front of the car. That's one of those coolers that I was talking about that's behind the vents. So fluid runs from here to the front and it's gonna keep your differential nice and cool while you're driving around the track. Now, the last most important upgrade that you get with this car is the suspension. You're gonna get stiffer sway bars. You're gonna get better spring rates. And the other thing that you get is magna ride suspension. Now, what magna ride suspension is, is that you have special shocks on here. They're gonna have special fluid in there and there's actually wiring that goes to the shocks. And the fluid in there is gonna change viscosity as the computer changes what it needs. So, when you're just driving along nice and normally, it's gonna be pretty soft and supple ride. When you're on a track and you need stiffer suspension, the computer's gonna stiffen up the shocks more so that you're gonna have a nice flat ride around the corners. Now, not everything that I've talked about today is something that you can only get on a 1LE package. Now, for an example, the 2SS, you can get a dual mode exhaust, you can get the Magna Ride suspension, but those are optional items that you can get on the car, where on the 1LE package, that's standard. The reason I went out to buy a 1LE package is because I do auto process competitively. I don't do it at a national level, but I do do it at a local level. Do do. <laughs> But I also like to go do track days and I wanted something that was already prepared for that. It's already got coolers installed so it'll keep everything nice and cool. It's already got good suspension, which I will probably be upgrading sometime later on. And that way I can go a little bit faster. But this was a good starting platform in which that I can just go buy it, I can go drive it, and I can improve from there. Hey, if you guys liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more videos that I'm going to be putting out later, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video.